After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in game name is How Much For Off, and my bounty is on screen, and it's consistently increasing every single day. As you all know, in the last episode, we got ourselves a fire cape. Look at that beauty. I can look at it all day. We made this empty portal chamber in the last episode, and I finally decided what teleport I'm gonna make for this episode right here. I'm gonna make myself mind alter teleport. I know, I know. Why would anyone make this teleport? Well, 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 well. That's the point. No one thinks I'm gonna make this portal, so why not just make it? Yeah, I'm only gonna be using this portal for today's episode. It is time to do a slayer task. We do have 66 scorpions we gotta kill. And I know just the place. It's in the wilderness. It's a wilderness slayer task, by the way. And that's 16 slayer. 17 slayer. 18 slayer. We can now begin animal magnetism. Um, I don't know if we actually have to complete the restless ghost. I don't think we actually need to complete it. I was wrong, I actually had to complete the quest Restless Ghost, but that's great because Jagex made an update to the rewards of the quest. You now receive a brand new pair of Raycon earbuds after completing the Restless Ghost. And luckily for all of us, Raycon is today's video sponsor. Just look at it, it fits perfectly in my ear. Like perfect. The Raycon Everyday Earbuds is what I have been using to listen to music at the gym, at the store, pretty much everywhere. Raycons come with a bunch of yell tips for your comfort and unlike some other brands they don't stick out of your ears. In addition to this, Raycons have a 32 hour battery life. These earbuds start at half the price of other premium audio brands but they sound just as good. And Raycons come with a 45 day happiness guarantee. So if you are interested in the Raycon Everyday Earbuds but click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash cengineer to get 15% discount of your Raycon purchase. For the quest, Animal Magnetism, we're gonna unlock the teleport. Drainer Manor Portal. Halfway done with the quest, we have now reached the part which we cannot complete. We need a mithril axe. I don't have one. I have done some investigations here and there's a chance of you getting a mithril axe by doing the chest on the Isle of Souls. The mithril axe have a drop rate of 1 in 33. From chest, alright. Renner, alright. Oh my god, I'm so lucky. I got it on the fourth chest. One in 33, baby. Yes, let's go. Get out of here. Surely this guy won't do anything, right? And that's our unblessed holy symbol, mate. So instead of just running out to the west to monastery to bless my symbol, which is the quickest way, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna teleport to my house, use the mind altar teleport, and we're good. Just run north. There we go. We got a holy symbol. A little fun fact for you all, if this button right here is red for you, and if you press it, it turns gray. Amazing! Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> he was slow with the telebuck. Jesus Christ, that could have ended so badly. Avis, come here. There we go. Animal magnetism completed. 20 slayer as well. We can kill rock slugs. All right, great. We got the backpack. Beautiful. I can actually flex this instead of flexing the cape. So Avis accumulator completed. So no one has found me in this spot. So I'm just gonna camp here until someone finds me. We start at 55 range and 57 HP. 56 range. Look at that 58 hit points. That's a combat level. 55 combat. Ooh, 70s can officially attack me now. Look at that. 57 range. Wait, he found me, wait, he got a one prayer fire cape. He actually found me, well done sir, well done. 57 range, two range levels. We didn't get the 60 range though. There we go, Black Knight Fortress completed. Very easy quest with the, the mind teleport unlocked. Casket, beautiful, let's go to safe zone. Beginner's casket, three, two, one, let's go. Absolutely nothing. 
Right, the, the, these Dragonstone rings, I'll probably not be able to make them into wealths uh, anytime soon. So we're just gonna high out them for some GP. Look at that, we're gonna get... We're gonna get 105k from all of these. Alright, look at that, 244k. Beautiful. Alright, time to do the quest Haunted Mine. This is an XP gaining quest, so we might get some combat or some level from completing this quest. Alright, what's the... what do we protect? Is it protect from melee here? There we go. Protect from range, maybe? Oh my god. It keeps going back and forth, back and forth nonstop. Where is he going? Oh my god. Run. Uh, I'm stuck. Oh my, this minecart! Oh my god, I, I basically got no food here. Last hit. Get the kill. Fuck yeah, oh my god, I had... Do I just finish the quest with uh, two sharks left? Uh, I'll just do it. I think this is where we complete the quest, right? There we go. Haunted mine completed. We got 50 strength. No combat, good, good, good. No HP experience as well, but that doesn't matter. It's fine, it's fine. Um, and that's where we teleport home. We have now unlocked the Solve Amulet. This amulet increases my attack and strength bonuses by 15% against undead creatures. However, it currently only works for melee. If I want to make it work for magic and range as well, I will have to go to Nightmare Zone, which is not available on PvP worlds. However, I might just make an exception for the future where I go to Nightmare Zone and unlock the Solve Amulet, since it's a safe area anyway. Alright, here we are. This will be my training location. Uh, we'll kill black knights. There are plenty of ladders for escapes. And we can just charge our prayer here by the altar. Um, I'm not sure about the drops, if they're even worth it, but I'm just gonna need some levels here. And the best part is, this is pretty much like Rockcraft, because these black knights, they just aggro me, so I don't even have to pay attention. I can pretty much AFK this. There we go, 51 strength. <gasps> Ninja in plane. Can I barehand catch that? Rune Skimitar, beautiful. That's 30k high elk. Right, there we go, 58 range. Boom, 59 range, one level to go. 59 hit points. Give me a hint where you at, selling hints 10 mil each. Go on, I will buy a hint for 10 mil, meet me GE on your main. All right, I'm gonna meet him up. Wait, he's actually pay he's actually paying for a hint. All right, we we're gonna DM his uh, account. Hint equals to upper floor. I think that's a good enough hint, right? Upper floor. We, we made the 10 mil. I'm gonna add this 10 mil to the bounty actually, so it's going back to whoever wins. He decided to instantly share the hint with the clan chat, so we'll see if they manage to track me down. Alright, they're saying building with floor so he can kill something. Obviously he's doing the gang stuff on Corrent, Slayer Tower, yeah, you, know, you never know. The thing is, if they do find me, I'm gonna see them come up <laughs> this staircase and uh, so I'll have plenty of time to teleport to be honest, so no no, no worries at all. Elements Pure, he says, I am running out of places to check. I guess this spot is nothing you actually would check to be honest. Who, who have ever been here training on Black Knight to be honest? Oh! I got found! Wait, what? I was not paying attention. Does he know how to get here? Oh, he's going upstairs. There we go. There he is. This is where we're gonna teleport out. Bye. Good fight. I got found. It took a while. All right, it is time once again to do a quest. The quest we are planning to do is a portion of interest. Uh-oh. Pig thing. Oh, it's snorting me. This could be a really good trading spot, to be honest. Sour Hog have been killed. There we go. A portion of interest has been completed. We got 1k Slayer experience. And uh, I don't want people to know that I've completed this quest. So I'm gonna do a Slayer task, which is Cave Slime. 22 Slayer. Beautiful. Task 
been completed. Yeah, I think Sore Hugs will be my training spot for a bit. Um, I'm gonna get 60 range, maybe even higher. 60 range, beautiful. We can now upgrade to Red Dehyde. We do have some Red Dehyde Bang Breezes in our banks. So we're gonna get those. So besides that, this training spot is actually really good because no one has this unlocked, to be honest. I got these goggles. Look how fast I'm looking. I look speedy. All right, so look at this. We upgrade from green Dragonite Van Breezes with 64 magic defense to 68 magic defense with the red spiky Van Breezes. A quick little farmer and to throw people off. Why not? And I think this is where I'm gonna end today's video. 60 magic have been unlocked. Uh, unlocking a lot of things, nothing useful really, but I feel like this is where I want to start doing something else and I'm gonna save it for the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed! Leave the video a like. Let's aim for something high today. Let's go for, do I dare say it? 7,000 likes. Can we get 7,000 likes? And I'll see you guys very very soon, maybe even a week. I'm so hyped on playing this account right now. I don't know where this hype came from, but I'll see you guys very very soon. And of course, the bounty have increased by 15 mil plus 5 mil plus 7 mil, plus 10 mil, plus 10 mil, plus 50 mil, putting the bounty at 7 billion and 62 million. Good luck gamers.